Hey everyone, this is Katerina Christakos, and if you're here, it's because you want to create ebooks. Now, the platform I use is called Scribble, and it works for both Mac and Windows because it is cloud based. And I'm going to show you some of the projects I've done. All these projects were done in about two and a half days. These first four were done in less than two hours. So let me show you how this works. And by the way, if you want this um, software program, click the link below and you can get it through that link. All right, so we're here inside and we have different templates. So I go to category and I choose what I want to work on. So let's say I wanted games. Click on games. And these are a couple of covers they have in the gaming um, niche. Now, everything you see is editable. So let's look at what this is going to look like on the inside. We're going to view it. See how pretty the layout is? Now, everything you see can be changed. Everything is editable. So let's say we're going to use this. We're going to click Use. And I'm just going to say test, because I'm showing you how to do this. Next. Now, here's the really cool thing. Let's say you were doing a book um, based on the information you have in your blog. You can just grab the URL of your blog and paste it in here, and it will go out and it will grab all your content for you. So if you're coming out with a book from your blog, that's one way of doing it. Another way is to copy and paste in your content manually. You can upload a Word or text file, or you can start from their article collection. So if you don't want to write a single word, you could just use their articles. But this is what they recommend, start from scratch. So we're going to click there and click Next. And this is what I used when I created those books. Okay, so you can change the title. You just Click on it and click on it. All right, we're going to click on it and we're going to say uh, test gaming book. And we'll put their name here. And then obviously, I want a different picture. So, how do I change this? I just click on this. And go here, background image, and you can upload your own. You can use stock images that they have in a bunch of different um, niches. So let's say, let's go gaming. Let's see if they have one there. All right, they don't. It's okay. Oh, cool. We have game. We're going to go there, click on game. And they've got a bunch of different games here. But that's not what I wanted. I want some, let's say, the gaming niche. So we click here again. And we go to, uh, we have system images, stock accounts. Now, Pixabay is a site that has commercial free images that you can use. So we're going to click on Pixabay. And I'm going to put in the word gaming and see what comes up. You get kids playing a game that's kind of cute. You've got chess games. You see, there's so many different things that it has. So I'm going to use, let's say, this one. And it's going to swap it out. Now, I like the other picture better, but just for now, for example, that's how you do it. Now, you see how this changed color here? Well, we need to work on that. We need to click here and background image says none let's click here and go to system backgrounds and let's see what we have all right let's say oh cool I like that I put that there We're going to go to here, 
background color and I'll put it at black there. Like this, I'd like to do the same and put this background color to black. Cool. And then let's see advanced settings here. Okay, back and color. Great. So I'm gonna put that at black too. Okay. Now you could do it that way. Um uh -huh. no, I want to change that color a little bit too. So there's black. I want to make that red. Just to change these up a bit. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's page one. Now we're going to scroll down, and here's a table of contents. Now let me show you something really cool. After you're done with the book, right, you put all this content in, you go to settings, and you just click on generate table of contents, and it will automatically fill this all in with your, um, with your chapters. You don't have to do anything. It'll do it for you. So that's one of the features I love about this. And then we have this here. Now we can change out this picture by clicking there, going here, and I'm going to go to Pixabay and uh, I'm going to say video games. I'm going to say, let's just pick this one just for fun. And again, I can change out this by um, going to background color and I'm going to choose let's say red apply down and now this over here you can change that out again by clicking and just editing now let's say you didn't want two columns there you want one okay you go here you click on the remove row yes I'm sure and then you click here and you say I want a uh, paragraph text and it's right there okay so I'm going to show you something I find that a little hard to read so I could go here I put a background color on it like this and then that's change this color to red and then change that to bold and boom right there now let's say you wanted something underneath this you could put a click there, you could have another row, you could have two block. It's just up to you. But everything is point and click simple. And you know, you just go on. Now let's say you got to page three and you wanted more pages. Easy. Click there and you choose the page. Do you want a blank page? Do you want one of these? You can, you know, pick this one and then edit it again. It's really easy. So I'm going to choose this one. And poof, there it is. And then at the end, you have your thank you. Um, and I would put, you know, your website right there. You can create as many pages as you want. There's no limit. It's beautiful designs. You can change everything. You can change this one if you want, change that if you want. It's all up to you. It's point and click simple. It is online. It's on the cloud. So when you are done, you just download it. And it will always work because it doesn't, there will never be a conflict with the software on your computer. You're never putting this on your computer. You're just downloading the files. So I'm going to say, you can save and edit and exit. You can save. You can generate your ebook, which will come out in a PDF format. So I'm going to save and exit right now. And I want to show you one more thing that I think is really, really cool. Um, if you get the upgrade, uh, one of the upgrades is flipbooks. So let me show you a flipbook that I created. A YouTube Ninja. We're going to view it. Give it a second to load. Now watch this. See how cool it is? It even makes the sound of a turning page. 
And if you wanted to share that with somebody, you could just um, get the web widget and paste it on your website. I think that's pretty cool, don't you? All right. So that is my favorite ebook creation software that works on both Windows and Mac because it's cloud based. If you want this and if you want to get started and start creating these ebooks, click the link below this video now and get started. It's a lot of fun. Bye for now.